What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Had to think about it there for a second. So I shifted today's video on till uh, I think it's tomorrow now. But we have some breaking news, which really shocked me today. And I didn't think I'd ever see something like this happen, to be honest. And I do apologize. That's the work computer cutting off for the day back there. So um, moving from one thing to the next, of course. But eBay today has gone and restricted PWCCs selling privileges and listings due to shill bidding. I can't tell you how many times I've talked about did videos on it. Um, a lot of people have sent complaints and everything forward because of how shady it looks by having anonymous um, people bidding on items. There's a reason why eBay kind of gives you a little code not to know who the seller is, but you can kind of start start figuring it out by different ways I showed everybody on here. I'll check for shill bidding. But let me pull a statement up here. All right. I, was, I have never bought anything from PWCC, so I did not get this email. From my understanding, this email only came out to people who buy or uh, have something to do with PWCC. So it says, as one of the world's largest marketplaces, eBay has policies in place to protect our buyers and sellers. eBay was founded on trust, and we work every day to ensure a fair and positive experience with the entire eBay community. Regardless what you think of that whole statement right there, um... I, I still think it's kind of huge that they did this because I know PWCC is at least in the top 25 monthly in sales volume. So they're they're losing business by doing this completely. But I applaud it. Let's keep going. Recently, it was determined that individuals associated with trading card seller PWCC have engaged in shill bidding, which is prohibited on eBay. I am sure some of them dudes on Blowout figured this out and found a way around coding and did something because th this is really big. Because now we're going to start looking at other auction houses like Probstein. At the same time frame, you know, there's other places too. I know uh, another person who does run consignments on there and they're always checking for that stuff. So... Like I said, really big. As a result, though, eBay has restricted PWCC selling privileges and listings effective today. eBay's policies and standards were designed to ensure a trusted marketplace where a community can transact with confidence. If we determine that a buyer or seller is not acting in good faith, eBay takes it seriously and takes action. Our customer service team will work directly with anyone who has questions about recent uh, PWCC transaction. So, they've been with cards for a while, and 25 years is probably about right, because I think I started on eBay around 96, 7, somewhere around there, because I know I was in Hawaii stationed there. And I remember buying and selling, and then luckily our post office was right next to the quad, so I was able to go over, ship, and do all that crazy stuff there. But, like I said, I, I wish I could find... I well, I know I can find it, but there's like an e, somebody does it with eBay's top sellers of the month by volume wise and everything. And I know PWCC, they might be top ten, top five. I don't know, but I know they're on there every month. So that's a huge chunk of money that eBay's not making. And whether you like eBay or not, because of fees and all that. I'm really happy to see that they actually stood ground and did this. Now, what those restrictions are and how it's going to play out, I have no idea. But I also think that if you were the person shill bidding on PWCC auctions, you should have your account banned. Now, here's some other thoughts. All these guys set all these big cards in the PWCC's vault because in any instant, you could hurry up and go, Click, click, and put it up for auction. Not anymore, you can't. <laughs> so, lots of stuff is still going to be answered after this, on to this. I mean, this was, as of today, it came out. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, today, Tuesday. Sorry. I'm thinking today's Wednesday. 
I, I'm like in a mad rush on to getting everything done this weekend. Um, no matter how you plan stuff, for some reason, you, it's hard to make hit times because there's always something that's going to go wrong. You ever notice that? Okay, back to this. But, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people that sponsor PWCC. And we know who those uh, select YouTubers are. What are they they're doing today on that? You know, are they going to defend PWCC? Because they always talk good about it with the vault and everything else. Maybe they now see the light of day and didn't think it was going to get caught, whatever it may be. The other part is I'm wondering how many people maybe PWCC had in their organization still bidding their own items. That could be very, very, very possible as well, too. But I know people were still bidding their own stuff on there. And that's why they hide all that. It's not for client protection and all that. Because eBay already masked that name. The only thing you could tell is the um, feedback score. Now, as a seller, you know exactly who it is. It just shows PWCC didn't care. They did not care one bit. I'm, I'm going to be really curious how this plays out, though, how long they're going to be restricted um, and, you know, kind of like banned on eBay for offhand. Will it last a day, a week, a month, permanently? I mean, you guys let me know in the comments because you know how I feel about the whole situation to begin with on it. I know most of you feel the same way. But if you're a person who has stuff in the vault uses PWCC to sell with. I mean, maybe you got a little more insider tip that you can share in the comments section. Maybe PWCC's made some statements that I haven't seen yet or heard about today. But the show bidding has been caught, and I'm hoping people see this as a warning out there that they're watching and other people are watching. I guess it just takes the right people to go in there and do what they did and get this stuff forward because it, it, it's been going on for years, years on this. But that's the news for today, in case you guys didn't hear about it at all. I figured I'd put it out real quick. Like I said, I was in shock when I heard about it, in shock. At the same time frame, I wanted to applaud at the same time that eBay did the right thing but we're going to see how well they stick to their guns on this restricting part and what PWCC is now going to do and turn around since, you know, they're not going to have their eBay. What's it going to mean for the vault? Are people going to pull their stuff out of the vault that they were spending money in to keep there as kind of like their little security boxes? You know, there, there's a lot to it, a lot to it all. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I like reading through those, uh, seeing what everybody's thoughts are and everything on to it. But that's it for today. A video tomorrow. Thursday is going to be a preview auction. And then you won't see me again until the auction on Saturday night. And I got to get that time down packed yet. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. And I'll catch you all next video.